A couple weeks ago, we told you about a pair of new community fridges that opened outside a NYCHA development on the Upper East Side. Among those helping to keep the community fridges stocked here and across the city is an organization called Grassroots Grocery. Joining me now is Dan Zatterer, the founder of Grassroots Grocery. Good morning, Dan. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Excited about it. Yeah, so where does the food come from that you stock the refrigerators with? Great question. So the food comes from all over is the first thing. Mm -hmm. It comes from restaurants that have ec extra food. It comes from markets that are that have prepared meals. And one of our biggest and most generous sources of food is the Hunts Point Produce Market, which mm. is the biggest produce market in the United States. They sell over $2 billion worth of produce every year. And one of the vendors there, Katzman Produce, is super generous to have donated over 500,000 pounds of produce to our organization since we started working with them back in February of 2021. Wow, that's yeah. so much in such a short time. Yeah, it's incredible. Wow, it's now incredible. Be before your organization was rescuing food, you started with a community fridge in the Bronx. Tell me about that. Yeah, so I was a, a middle school teacher mm -hmm. in a school called uh, the American Dream School in the South Bronx. And I just, I got to know my students and their families really well. And one day I was walking home to the subway and on the way home I ran into one of my students and next to him I saw that there was an elderly woman who was digging through a trash can. and. I asked my student about it the next day and he looked at me without batting an eye and he said, oh, that's my grandma, uh -huh. it's normal. And I thought, well, if that's normal for him then, and right, that was before right, the pandemic right. even happened, then, then, then what, what's it like now? And, and so I reached out to my students mm -hmm. and their families and I found out that one out of every four of my students and families were cutting down on meals or skipping meals a few times a week. And this was really personal to me because yeah. these were the same faces of students that I was seeing on the computer screen every day. And so it just started as a local effort mm -hmm. of fellow teachers and the community to, to bring food closer to my students and their families. And so we opened up a community fridge. We weren't the first ones to do. We were one of a movement. And we opened it up on a street mm -hmm. in Mott Haven right on the sidewalk and the idea was to bring food closer to my students and their families that otherwise weren't getting access to fresh and healthy food that they needed to sustain themselves so i can understand how you see that scene of your student and their grandmother going through through the trash like that um you have a big weekend ahead yes you're running the marathon yes tell us why <laughs> yeah so so i, I I know it, it's the, it's my first full time year of doing grassroots grocery, okay. um, and and you would think that that you know running a nonprofit for the first year and running the marathon are, are kind of hard to do simultaneously. And it definitely <laughs> has not been easy. Um, but my girlfriend and I are doing it together, and we just decided that that if we were going to have a team in the marathon, that we had to be part of it. You know, we, we had to energize our people and we had to raise money to drive out hunger, you know, and it, it, we've, we've raised almost $40,000 now wow. from our team, you know, grassrootsgrocery.org is where people can learn more about that and donate to the team. And it would just mean the world if, if we could end this year mm. raising enough money to be able to go into the new year with, with just a sustainable organization. So that's really why we're running. We're running for the people that we serve. We're running to bring awareness to the cause. We're running so that Everybody knows that, that hunger is not something that should live behind closed doors. It's yeah. not something that only big institutions can handle. Our kind of our slogan is neighbors helping neighbors, mm. you know, and, and, and we think that it, we're not going to end hunger until everybody feels like they have skin in the game, like they have a stake in this. And so that's one of the reasons that we're running is just to make sure that everybody knows about this and that everybody yeah. feels empowered to be a part of it. Dan, thank you so much for the work you do. Thank you so much for having me. And good luck to you and your girlfriend and your team this week. It's going to be 74 <laughs> degrees, so good luck. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, you have to watch and see if we come on the TV. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and remember to check us out, grassrootsgrocery.org, and, and, and we, we would love the support. It's so important as we go into the new year. So thank, thank you. you so thank much. Thank you, Dan. Really nice to see you. For more information on <laughs> Grassroots Grocery, you can also go to cbsnewyork.com.